Hey, this is Mike Beckerl, and today we're going to take a look at one of my favorite Jerry Garcia lines. Let's take a look. So this line comes from Jerry's solo on Help on the Way from the album Blues for All. Uh, it's one of my favorite Grateful Dead records as well we're checking out. And it's definitely my favorite playing from Jerry Garcia because he's playing a lot of really cool, really fun ideas th th throughout you know, the record. Now this song is an F minor. And through the solo, he plays basically through an F Dorian scale. If we analyze exactly what Jerry's doing here, we have the root, goes up to the second, the flat three, the fourth, fills in the gap, sharp four, five, flat seven, fills in the gap, seven, one, and then it goes up to the second, flat three, second, root, flat second, second, flat second, root, flat seven, and then he goes to like flat five, five, and then he goes, from the fifth down to the four, the flat three, up to the fifth, root. So let's take a look at what Jerry's doing here. He's playing through his F, F scale, but every time there's a hole in the scale, you know, like a hole step that, that doesn't have a note in it, he's kind of filling it in. So when, he, so when he gets to the fourth, on his way to the fifth, he fills in that gap. And the same thing when he gets to the seventh, to the root, he fills in the gap. And then right here, so he's playing second, flat three, second, root, flat second, second, flat second, root. So he's kind of going, so he's again filling in that gap and just playing around it. And this is a really cool idea that you can take uh, through any scale and use it to kind of fill in, you know, to make it more interesting. You know, so I can go between the root and the second, between the third and the fourth, between the fourth and the fifth, between the fifth and the sixth, between the seventh, the flat seventh, and the root. And this is something I can use. I can use that freely to kind of color what I'm doing, I'm still, it's important to still make the notes from the scale and your chord tones the most important because we don't want to just be playing chromatic stuff. We want it to, we want the chromaticism to serve the notes that we're playing. So we want to use them to make our scale sound stronger. for longer sequences too. So I can go from the root, I can go down to the fifth. I can keep going. So I went down to the fifth, and then I went fourth, major third, or flat four, second, flat three. And then I went root, down to the sixth, and then I went fifth down to the third. <clears throat> so this is an idea we can take and just kind of color in our scales. Now we don't want to do necessarily do too much of this. We don't just be playing chromatic, but like I said, if we use this in ways to kind of accent our notes that we already have that we know are good, then we can add a lot of color to what we're doing. I hope you'll take this and analyze this, this idea. It's something you could spend a lot of time with and really get a lot of use out of. Now, like I said, you, you want to use this in a way to make your, your scale and your chord tones sound stronger. You don't want to just play chromatically all, you know, however you feel like. <clears throat> but by connecting pieces of the scale together through the chromatic notes that are left out, you can really 
build some really cool tension, some really cool drama, and and really make your destination notes sound stronger through doing this. In addition to looking through the scale, you know, take take that Jerry line, and that's a really good way to kind of see how someone does it. And take that and adapt it to multiple couple positions on the guitar, and take it through all 12 keys. And through doing that, I think you, you'll start to see kind of what Jerry's getting at through this idea and how to incorporate it into your own playing. Thanks for checking out the lesson. We'll see you next time. Thank you.